You can, you can ask me any question you like. The ancient of embryology, what the Quran has mentioned, um, follow that. Have you become Muslim or have you accepted Islam? Why and why not? Thank you. That's the question I've been asked, of course, <laughs> hundreds of times, and it's a very logical question. And I'll give you the same answer that I gave in Saudi Arabia, that I gave in Toronto, that I gave in Sudbury a couple of weeks ago, and that I give anywhere I go. And that is that I was raised in a Christian family. My father was a, was a Presbyterian minister, uh, and uh, he uh, taught me to respect all religions, and uh, he... Uh, said that all those who believe and worship God uh, just have a different way of doing it. So I have no difficulty uh, in uh, understanding that we, we all worship the same God. Now, it would be different if I didn't have a strong faith of my own. In other words, if I had uh, been a, a, an agnostic and didn't believe strongly in God, that obviously I would have ex probably accepted your religion. But as I was raised... And uh, as a, a Christian, and, and, and believe as you do that uh, uh, Muhammad was a was a messenger of God, just as Jesus was a messenger, uh, each bringing messages from God. So I didn't find it difficult when I was told about the Quran and that these were revelations from my God. Uh, from God, it didn't. Uh, it wasn't difficult for me because my own father made it very clear to me that he was uh, called by God to be. Uh, uh, a minister to go and, and, and talk about God uh, to the, the people. So uh, in an indirect way, maybe God is telling me that this is the right thing for me to do to uh, help uh, explain your holy book uh, to you. Now, uh, your scientific colleagues can do this just as well as I can if they have an understanding of embryology. But I've always said that it's uh, probably mean more uh, as a non-Muslim for me to tell people around the world that I believe that what is recorded in the Quran is accurate according to our present knowledge. And uh, as I say, I'm sincere in what I say is that we just didn't have this knowledge and some of this knowledge about the genes and the chromosomes has only come to us in the last uh, 10 and 15 years. When I was a student uh, 25 or 30 years ago, we didn't have a lot of the knowledge we have now. And there are a lot of things in the Quran that were, uh, I was asked questions about, and I said, I don't understand it. And I think that maybe in another hundred years, and I won't be here, but on those verses, if you ask them to the embryologists of that day, they will say, sure, that is what this means. So that to answer your question very simply, I don't feel it's necessary for me to become a Muslim to uh, worship God. I've done that for all of my 60 years. And uh, if anything, though, uh, understanding this just uh, shows me that uh, God uh, has a, a great influence in this, uh, in, in this uh, world. That, that, that's the best that I can answer that for you. Uh, and uh, I have seen some of my colleagues who've been so impressed by what they have uh, read in the Quran and so on that they have certainly, uh, there have been a few cases where they have converted, and that's fine. And uh, if I'm ever so motivated, I would do the same. But I've been, I have a strong uh, belief. Uh, it just happens to be a, a little different way of worshiping God than yours. But uh, we're all worshiping the same God. I like to think, and that if we can work together, we'll have a much happier world. Thank you.